we, we, we had a lot of practice. Uh, so we lived in Munich for a couple of years and you know, got that out of the way and really started learning about the music industry, uh, which is just a, a crazy business. You learn a lot of things and one of those, and for those good in, get into the entertainment industry, uh, you need to learn the word recoupable because that's one thing we didn't know. Recoupable is when uh, everything that the record label spends on you, you have to pay back. You know, we were going to fine dinners, and we had limos everywhere, and you know, flying everywhere, and hotel rooms. We're like, wow, this is nice, everything's free. Um, no, but that comes out of your pocket at the end of the day, which we didn't know. Um, so we had like a little crash course lesson uh, in the music industry. Uh, and then we came back to America, and we just wanted so bad to release, because uh, you know, being in Europe and all these different places, you don't know the shows, they, you, you know, they, they grow up on those shows, it's not your, um, the billboard charts, all that type of stuff that you're used to. So, we came back to America and we did this special on the Disney Channel that just blew it up. I mean, we, were, we did not expect anything um, like, like what had happened. We, um, we even questioned if we wanted to do the Disney special. We were like, is that our market? Do we want, you know, like Disney market? Uh, but lo and behold, they played that thing three times a day and it just made us just huge, like the first year that we came to America and we were just so happy. And uh, finally we had like surpassed those Backstreet Boys guys, we're like yes, finally we're like, <laughs> we're not that red at a stepchild anymore. So, uh, you know, it was, it was such a, a great, you know, moment for us. And, you know, throughout the next touring years, it was so amazing. I'm a huge fan of everyone, so I was the biggest geek, you know, being able to play with, you know, Michael Jackson, and, you know, we toured with Janet Jackson, and we got to sing with, like, Phil Collins and Gloria Estefan, and just doing a lot of things that, you know, growing up that you... Thank you. <laughs> Gloria fan? <laughs> um, so we, uh, you know, got to do a lot of just amazing things that I just, you know, never had dreamed of. Um, and I had the best time of my life, I mean, four of my best friends, you know, touring around the world with, you know, you couldn't ask for anything better than that. And so we went, um, towards the end of the touring, we decided, it was one December, I don't even remember the year, but we all decided, look, we've been going for about seven years now, we need a break, we need a little hiatus. So we decided one December that we were going to take a good six month break. And Justin was going to do a solo album. Uh, different guys were going to you know, maybe do some film, television. Some were just going to like sleep for once. And so I get a call during rehearsals for the last tour um, from my manager, Cindy. He's over there. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> and she calls her. She's like, "You're never going to believe this." I'm like, "What?" She's like, "Okay." She's like, "They." If I get a call from these producers that want to send you to space, I'm like, "What?" Because my dream, my ultimate dream, my life was to be an astronaut. And um, so when she called, <laughs> when she called, I was like, okay. I was like, Cindy, I was like, it's, it's Ashton Kutcher with Pumped, obviously. Like, there's, there's no way they're going to let me go <laughs> and be, you know, go to space. So after checking it out later that day, I had to document everything that this was a real thing. So immediately I was like, oh my gosh, I, mean, I can't believe this. From one big dream to another big dream, like this is all happening, it's just insane. So, I immediately went to Moscow, where I went through the, oh, are you from Moscow? <laughs> that way. Nice. Okay. I was gonna say something in Russia, but it's just all going away now. Uh, so, I went there and we have to go through, to get into the uh, space program, which is completely different from our NASA here, which I didn't know at all. Uh, you have to go through this very, very, um, hard physical examination, I'll say. It's like four days and they study every nook and cranny of your body. And, no, not fun, <laughs> not fun. Um, so the first time I went and I had to go through everything, the centrifuge and just, I mean, they, they just test you so much what your body can physically withstand. And then they found a problem with my heart, which was completely benign, but I had an irregular heartbeat. And who knew that cosmonauts can't have irregular heartbeats in space? So I went to Boston and had that fixed. I had this uh, ablation surgery where they, it's kind of gross that I'm gonna share anyway. Um, <laughs> where they take these like metal rods and they put them up your, uh, your arteries and your groin and they go and study your heart. And then they have to burn places where it's misfiring. Did not feel good at all. I'm like, I better be going to space. So did that, went back, 
got approved. Um, oh, another really funny story. 